Hey Stampers, game again, and I started having a play with some one sheet wonder folios. I was watching a lady, oh I forgot her name, let me have a quick look. Uh, Camellia Crafts Design. Um, I forgot where I am now, there we are. Uh, yes, so I just watched her, she, she was using Stampera papers I think. So stamp here or graphic 45 and I thought it was really cute and I started to make one but I haven't decorated it yet so I asked the girls in chat the other night if they wanted to watch me make one and they said yes yeah. so I'll s <laughs> where's mine I've started right I've started it it's here um, and I'll show you what I'm going to how to get to this stage and then we'll decorate it together so I'm just using this is a piece of stamp here I think it's it's from the wonderland so i'm only using this to show you how to get to this stage um which i haven't even started decorating yet but look i found these envelopes these little vintage em i bought these about four or five years ago so i'm going to be using some of these to pop inside here we'll show you that anyway when we get to there it's gonna it's got a little side pocket which we're going to fill something up with that I'm not sure if I've put anything in there no not yet but I'll show you how we got to that stage uh, you need to crit in half first right let me get my papers I am going to be using some of my I think this is from I think it's Orchid and Ophelia these are chipboard pieces I like I like the clocks in them and look at that doors beautiful look i mean it might be a bit too big for this project but look at these beautiful clocks in here i've got, I found a smaller one there uh there's giant cats but i don't think i'll be using the cats but look at this little doorway and it'll go with these papers i've got here as well so you know like a little clock a little doorway so i will be using some of these another one there there's a little letter just to use and there's quite a few little houses with plants there's potted plants you know i could use that as a tuck spot or something so i've got those i actually just went through my stash because i had this from a card uh, from a paper kit that i had to make an album with the late lovely look see i've even used it on something and broke it off or something Got some flowers a little bit of ribbon i've just made some vintage style ribbon using this which came in a stamp stamping up kit ages ago so i use my blends just the pale this is the wild wheat and uh, pebbled path i've got some white sheer ribbon which we can color as well and i just literally put the wheat, the wild wheat either side and the pebble path in the center and all i've done is just to make it look old is i'm just gonna tw i'm just twisting it up and tying it round just to make it look old and raggedy so there's eight you've got so many different ways to make old style ribbon if you've only got new style like i've got so right to get to this oh i'm out of breath now flipping it right I'm just gonna chop this in half at six inches I'm not saying mine's going to be exactly the same as that lady's, but uh, first of all, you need to chop it. So, and then you want to decide. Mind you, I don't suppose it matters. You can have that at the top, that at the bottom. You can leave it at the top and the bottom. I'm going to have that at the top, this at the bottom for now. So I'll put them together. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, I nearly lost my score too, all there. So and then we're going to score this. I think I want that. So I'm going to turn that one. Let me just check. Four and a quarter. So that's going to go through that ladybird, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to turn that. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to keep them like that. So I'm going to push that underneath. 
I'm going to score at four and a quarter and eight and a quarter and that's it so again don't go too heavy handed like me four and a quarter eight and a quarter and then put them back on top oh I've lost myself because I made mine a couple of days back <laughs> so while we're here I'm going to round the corners all of them so this one I'll probably finish off but I won't do it on camera because I just wanted to make one just I like the look of them and I wanted some I wanted to use up some of my papers I've got loads and I mean loads so butterfly we're gonna fold this Where's my bone folder gone? I've just been using it. Oh, there it is. So, you're going to see when this folds in, it's shorter. And I've gone a bit heavy handed, so don't worry about that. So, that one is going to be folded backwards because this is going to be the back part. Because when you open this, you've got this side you've got this side and then when you flip that over you've got this side which is going to be shorter and this side so that's going to be the back end and then this is going to be the front see now i like that with the butterfly on the front let's see what we can do we haven't glued anything down yet so that will be my back if i use that let's have a look I'm all fingers and thumbs see so let's fold that that way and that way so that can be my I've lost now I'm lost see Ina's lost so one so I need the smaller side on that side but then the ladybirds are upside down fold that that way so yeah so that when I open it I've got the ladybirds the right way I think yeah so that's going to be my front and this is my short side yeah so that's it so you've got your longer sides either side oh see I'm going to cover up that butterfly I don't want to cover up that butterfly I want that in the centre Right, that's it. So, we're getting there in the end. <laughs> oh, Bruno, you numpty. So, that's my short side. That's my short side. And they're going to glue. Because they're bang on the same. But then my book's going to be up. Over. Short. So, long, short. short long oh I'm confusing myself that's right so we've got the two longer pieces on the outside glue that together and then we're going to leave a gap down there for our pocket you could either glue that together and have your pocket on the outside but I'm going to glue those together and have my pocket on the inside so let's see how it opens now because we're going to decorate it anyway so open butterfly short side envelopes will go in there then that will close that will open and this will be the pocket so we're going to glue those two sides down and along the back put a fold open and then that will be the inside that one that one and then this is going to be the back so i'm still losing i'm not losing that butterfly no because he's there ah right there we go then <laughs> so four and a quarter let me just check the measurements now so that'll be four so that's four and a quarter that'll be four and this will be three and three quarters so first one four and a quarter second one four and the third one three and three quarters so small side fold 
long side fold in again with this one we've got the long side this time on this side so it's like that four and a quarter four three and three quarter three and three quarter four and four and a quarter fold in fold over fold in fold over so you've got your two edges and then bring that together and then glue and glue the sides which we're going to do now and then we can start decorating the other one even though so just a thin glue once you've decided which way you want them to go I mean before before you've even scored them decide which way you want them to go and then you can just join those together keeping them perfectly balanced I mean I've got a little bit of leakage but I make sure I bring those together and keep that so it's basically just glue there there and there but on the inside and then that is going to give us that gap opening so I just need a tiny little bit more glue just along the edges it does take a little bit of time I know it's art glitter glue and it normally goes off pretty quick but I'm messing around on camera too much so Oh, we'll get there in the end but that's what we're basically got now so we've got I've got the other type I've got the other piece of paper that's why it's uh, so we've got our four and a quarter four three and three quarters so fold the three and three quarter that's that way and then when we open this this is our pocket this folds flat and we've got three and three quarter four and four and a quarter so that's basically your little folio which stands up like so with your inner pages your inner pocket and then your inner pages so now it's just ready to decorate so it was pretty quick actually pretty simple just gonna pop this glue away for a minute so I've got my little ribbons on the go so I'm just scrunching this untying it I want it crinkled see I mean you don't have to stick to this it looks uh, I, what I've got gaps in mine because I stopped to move along on just a piece of paper so I just stained it but if you can keep a continuous flow it'll be like the end like this one it just flows lovely well not there but it's just so now i'm going to put this to one side to dry so then i can you can either pop your ribbon on i don't know i'm just gonna even it out i mean i might have a bit too much but i don't I need to be able to untie it so I'm not going to tie it I'm going to tie it at the end after I've decorated but I'm just making sure I've got enough ribbon would help if I tied it proper yee tie it proper right there we go I've got enough ribbon I can jimmy the ends until I get them out warm I don't know why I make stuff like this but I love it so I can pen at the ends. I always lift it up towards you and then lift and cut from the centre the folded bit. And then you'll get the pennanted ends then. But my uh, scissors need to be clean. So I've got my little booklet, I've got my little ribbon. I mean you could even just double that over and tie it like so oh gain is all fingers and thumbs sorry right put it in the centre pull it tight 
I mean you could just tie it like that I need a little bit more ribbon but if you want to keep it close and have a smaller ribbon oh that looks cute actually and that look cute and vintagey so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide that off actually just for now that way it stays crimpled so when I come to use it later it's already got a tied end right front page I am shattered I have got I've had a bit of a cold girls and I walk upstairs and I'm out of breath basically absolutely shattered out of breath I've also got some of this nice ribbon that was given to me in a in a album kit isn't that pretty I mean, you could use that as a belly band and I've also got a bit of purple as well oh that is so pretty so I've got a bit of that I've got a bit of that I've also got white seam binding which I can colour any colour I want with my blends just make it a little bit stiff but it's worth it I've got baker's twines I've got linen threads I've got oh that's a bit bright I've got new ones coming I've also got black and blue so I've got quite a bit of twine to go be going on with uh, I've got my envelopes like I'm saying and I'm using it's called vintage photo it's an op distress oxide it's just so I can distress the edges which I haven't done yet but this one's been drying for a few days just so just to make it look a little bit older I haven't used my oxides for ages but I mean look at that it's so pretty I think I bought cheap pads but I think if you've got any little bits of paper that are overhanging you once you start adding these distressings you don't notice them just don't notice them at all so I always work, work my arms out stretching then no one can see what I'm bloody doing I do apologize so I mean I'm not going to go around every single page right now because it, it is mucky but you can go around every single page just to stress all those out. I should have done that before I come on camera really but uh, it's so cute it's pretty quick to do I've done it with my envelopes I open the envelopes out actually and then just I've got some little die cut pieces which are little frames and you can see the white inside so I just laid it on the ground on the top and I just went over to distress the envelopes to make them look a bit more distressed I also went round the edges of my die cut pieces so people can write on them add a little photo or leave it inside the packet and just slide some other photos in or some journaling papers so there and I don't have to use a closure because they tuck just right inside each other so I've distressed the inside I'm just just, just this level here so when this tucks in I don't have to worry about a closure but with that being like that I could grab some linen thread and a little bowl machine maker I'm just gonna tie a little bow loosen push the pegs in that way you're not pulling on the twine and it won't curl the tags then and then I could use that as a little closure on there just to disguise it even so it just makes it look like a little vintage letter so right on top of there that's a little bit much I'm just gonna block what I don't need just press that down so when that goes inside now it still comes out but it still tucks away 
and it's still on the top of that letter isn't that cute that is so cute and i've done one there so i'll do another little bow for that so inside look at these beautiful feathers aren't they gorgeous so let me give that a little bit of distressing i went down the other day and i was like oh my fingers are all brown and then i forgot i'd been distressing with this distressing i haven't used these in a long time i bought them to do an album many moons ago and i found them on top of the cupboard and i thought when i was doing this i thought oh do some do some sponging of vintage stuff in so that's my way so now all i'm going to do is glue these little envelopes you could leave them in loose or you could make some little pockets just to tuck them in i'm going to glue these ones in and i'm just going to close because i've got a want to guide that they sit in between those flaps just right giving myself a tiny little border at the top and at the bottom so and again i've just dressed this one inside and out this time and i've got a little ticket and i back this with some papers that i've got i've got some of these vintage papers which are supposed to be tie-dyed but they're a little bit too much but they're ideal to back and sponge to make them look older so i backed this one because it was the packet of the the stamp set so again tuck that in i can make another little one of those ribbons to make it old or grab some lace i'm gonna add that down here making sure they're lined up and that they're pretty equal so let's get my little bow maker again i think that's really cute i'm just doing little tiny double bows with single threads again pinch them up tiny little dot because we've got it closed we know we can add that tiny little bow just on the top oops i need a little tiny bit more glue because that one's gone off isn't that sweet so we've used a bit of baker's twine i don't know if they call it baker's twine or linen thread linen thread it's all the same in it this is baker's twine because it's thicker and so is this i've got some elastic if i need to use a little bit of elastic for something i've got my greens well i don't think they really go but i can stain those with my blends this is linen thread so what i'm going to do because i cut oh i've got an itchy here uh i've also i've done some die cutting die cutting fussy cutting at all so this is just a little labels i couldn't i couldn't be bothered to tell you the truth to cut these little labels out they were so intricate and because i'm only using scissors um I just folded them over because I couldn't be bothered so I'm gonna just add some distressing make them look a bit more vintagey and old I mean I could smear in between but it'd take me ages so I won't do that on camera but I love things like this I end up then putting them in a box and forgetting to give them people so I will have to do a, a little giveaway at one time you know if people want to enter just say for two pound each for the postage and nothing else the items will be free you know me I don't charge girls so let's add some crease in I'd sooner just give it to somebody if they can get some use of it. so that looks a little bit older so 
I mean, I could have left one of the tops open. I could slide. I'll use that on something anyway. So, right, let's find something for the front. I've also had one of the pages. And again, fussy little things like this with sentiments in the center. So I used my oval punch, my circle punch, and I used my stamp punch to cut out the sentiment and then just basically touch them up with a bit of tie-dye. So you can't really tell that, I've, look, this one I, cut, I fussy cut out, but I started it off with a ticket punch, as I call it, the stamped. But I think they look like little stamps, so it's cute. So they're cute. I've already done all them ones. There is more to do, say, like these. Now, I would have cut that out with this. Let me just show you if I can do it. So level it up. Pop one out because I just didn't want to fussy cut everything out. I know it sounds a bit uh, lazy, but there's so... I, I can't get my scanning cut out because I've got nowhere to put it. Nowhere to... I'd have to take it into a different room, set it up on a different... And I just couldn't be bothered, so... <laughs> I know it sounds awful, but... So I've got those little tickets. Uh, I've also got it. These are some little cut parts from the pages I've cut out for other things. Uh, for some of the, uh, they're fussy cutting. So if you know what I mean, so like that. I ran cut. I use the 12 by 12 sheet and hand cut most of those out. So they're all here, all hand cut out on the 12 by 12. So I'm just showing you the 8 by 8. And then on some of the 8 by 8s, I use little envelopes and stuff like that. This is that page that we're using for the, the there's the back. So that's the 8 by 8. This is the 12 by 12. Uh, so I mean I can cut things like this out but then you're taking away this beautiful paper from underneath I mean look at this beautiful I could cut these doors out so I've got an 8 by 8 and a 12 by 12 so this is the 12 by 12 which I've cut all these small ones out so I cut them out of the 8 by 8 so I don't have to waste all my 12 by 12 even though it's there so that's me just explaining oh, I'm out of breath now girls I'm telling you absolutely out of breath so I've got a couple left I could use a circle punch on there and just I could use the oval punch I think it'll let me I'm not sure but I think this one I cut it off too small here so unless I want it just so it's not in the centre because I've not got no edge on that side so but that's what I did I just thought I'd explain that these are leftover pieces so I could literally make a little oh I'll tell you what I did ah that's why I've cut this paper up I've made myself a little notebook so I could should do actually tie dye this little see that's the normal ribbon so this is what I made with the 8x8 papers this will go in this box somewhere just browning up the edges but I use some of that paper to make a little vintage notepad I found my these look at these vintage stamps and washi tape so I like those well, and those envelopes are found so these are all bits that I found and then I made that little notebook I mean I could have I can take that ribbon out and stain it or I could add some of the green but I quite like that and I've also got some lacy ribbon. Oh, let me find it. That also came 
with the stamp with this set I had off the, the scrap queen so I've got this lace and I've got this lace and this lace so I'm just, just borrowing from sets so what I might do is this will go in here at the back and I will find something and use a little tuck spot to tuck this in I could have it poking out the top so my ribbon in fact my top papers no I could just have it sitting like so and then it sticks out the top oh, I can't do it my head's pickled right again to stop it uh, I could add it here and then no I can't I've got to add it here and then this page will fold over so we've got a bit of give so when I tie it up I've got somewhere to add my little notebook or I could add it there and add a little pocket so I could use this as a pocket maybe add some lace let me show you oops add that just so it's poking out the top and add myself a little pocket and add the little ribbon behind I haven't decided but uh, my head is really pickled I could use a belly band which is the same sort of I could add that there with where's the white lace so this is the same width as the book then I could add this paper just along this side so my ribbon sticks out just to give it a vintage look so this is six inches let me do that I might add it to seven actually or just short seven and then score half an inch either side actually need to do it that side so don't quote me I haven't uh, I'll do a belly band like so that's a little bit short for some reason I could just manipulate that nobody else see that crease oh that's it perfect look at that fits in there I glue that one end and the other end but do I really want to add some lace first so I can tuck that in there attach that up there yeah that's pretty isn't it let me cut that off let me see let me see I'm gonna add some double-sided tape on there I'm gonna add it right along this edge and I'm gonna add some about there as well Finish that. I'm going to pull the first strip off and then add my lace so it sticks out the top. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, perfect length. And then I'll peel back this and stretch that over there. got a little bit of sticky still on there but if I just run that down my in fact no it's not sticking and if it does I can use my embossing body or I can use my glue eraser just to take 
the sheen off so it doesn't stop it from sticking. Trim off those edges. Tidy my lace up. And then I can. I don't know if I want, I think I want it that way round. So I am just going to glue the end. I'm going to add that in the centre as best I can. Making sure I tuck that under and that I get that perfectly straight. Get rid of the tape and all the bits. And then I can glue this centre down. Nab that little bit of lace on there. That is so cute. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. I wanted it that way, but it doesn't matter. And then what I can do, I'm going to grab some of my. I think I'm going to take this piece. Oh, I like that though. With the fan on. I'm going to take this piece for now. I want that little piano piece sticking out there so if I cut this down to five and seven eighths so that's three and that one's four and a quarter oh I just fold this one in half or I could even fold this over let me just measure. I think I'll use my scoreboard actually. I've just lost my tour. It flicked in me bin. <laughs> so now it's on the floor. Oh my goodness. Kena's having a right day of it. So piano keys. I'm just going to score this at four inches. And fold that across. Oh, how's, oh it's eight by eight. That's why. I'm a dozy mare, aren't I? So I'm going to round the corners. Make sure that's level. I am sweating pints. It is so warm in here. I actually like that. Right, so I'm going to cut an inch off now. So this is four, so I'm going to take my score line to three. Then I'm going to round the corners and I'm going to tuck that over and make this in two. So that's six. I might have to trim that. Oh, I did cut that down, didn't I? To five and seven eighths. I'm going to trim that down a little bit more. Let's take that to five and three quarter. Reround the corners, which doesn't hurt. Oh, that's it. There we go. So we've got we got that little page. We got that little booklet back there. I love that with the keyboards on got that beautiful bodice oh that's beautiful maybe we should have done this for the front cover <laughs> but everything's upside down now so I like that uh, I've got this lady even that is pretty oh I might just put that on there just glue in the center so it's got this beautiful lace let's trim these I think I've already done this once. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. 
So roughly, I might even wear those words right under me nose if I just move stuff out of the way again you'll find it uh, I've got that word there that says love I like that actually but it's gonna hide half a face let me find Oh, I got the feathers as well, so they could go behind her. Mind you, then she looks like she's got bunny ears. <laughs> go in, can you? Uh, let me just add that in the centre. So I'm going to flick that over. Grab some dimensionals. I'm going to put the three. And what I might do is, excuse me ladies, it's boiling. So I'm going to grab some of this linen thread. sure it sticks out when I put it down Let's snip that off make another loop and come back in there add that on there that's cute And then I don't know whether to. I might just attach that on there. There's a little crown as well. I don't know what the crown's all about. Not something I would use. So that's going to be our back page. And then we could even glue these sides up. make this a secret little pocket to add some of those let me just add some on there I know it stains my desk but it comes off with a cloth and now I'm a mocky crafter so I could take some of these, round the corners off one end, again, do some blending, I could add this little strip. I'm going to glue that on actually. This is off the 8x8 papers I just trimmed off whilst I was making, whilst I was die cutting, punching even some of those little sentiments out because this was the strip at the bottom. Knit that short and then this could tuck in here I am going to glue up the sides I think that's going to be really cute just up to where I've rounded the corners I know it's oozing out but it soon wipes clean. I 
I mean, I could tip that in that way. I tell you what, this soon dries out, this. Even though it's a new pad. I think it's these crappy pads that I've got. So you've got a secret little bocklet. When you flip it, it fits inside this beautiful little belly band on the back. Tuck that in. Isn't that sweet? I wish that was the front. Mind you, we could have that as the front. We could open this way. This way. And then, but then we're going backwards, aren't we? Because we've got those little... I think that is absolutely adorable. I think that's beautiful. Let's see what little tickets we've got. I may even come in. I mean, I've got these adorable little cut aparts. I've got these gorgeous doors. I could use them and just glue that down and have this as tuck spot. I think I will, you know, that is beautiful. And then this lady, I could just glue her one side. Again, using this as a tuck spot. I think I will actually. So I'm gonna glue this side down. Oh, wait there, I'm gonna embellish, mind you. It's brown all down this side anyway. So I'm only gonna do top and bottom. I'm not the best decorator in the world, but I'll have a go. I've got, I'm better with cards. So I'm just going to glue that opening. I'm going to leave myself about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge, just in case I get a glue spillage like that. Give that. then I'm going to glue this lady on just at the front as if she's going through those doors so just down this one side look at this it's all sticking to me fingers okay, grab Where's my rubber gone? I can't find anything. Gain is everything's gone missing. So I'm gonna, oh look at this, absolutely beautiful. That can tuck in there with a couple of these. Look at this giant brolly, absolutely beautiful. But I'm gonna use that. Look at these, absolutely stunning, maybe even look at these vintage envelopes so because we've got I might just shove some in the front depends on which way round and what they look like that was a bit modern that one's pretty nice it's got a lady figure on the center there on the stamp that's more worldy mappy this is quite vintagey to, to match that's a quite a nice one with a lion on so i'm gonna put a couple of those in there but look at this looks like a little journaling pocket anyway isn't that sweet so i could use this seal this up and use that as a tuck spot somewhere inside the card as well i'm just looking at all these look little letters absolutely beautiful crowns there's the fan there's a nice big oh and which a hand cut out there's more of these beautiful bodices so these are all my little bits let's keep them all together because again there's a mucky pot my words are there my lady's there i'm gonna add a couple of these little envelopes i think i'll add this one with the lady and the gentleman on the front what I'll do is, when I've finished doing the video, I will fill these with little tickets or little die cut pieces that have come out of this kit. 
I think that is charming and it still fits behind this beautiful lady I do want one of these gorgeous signs that says princess oh I quite like that let's grab some dimensionals I'm using the dark ones because they they're not too bad and I've sponged around the edges so I'm going to add that little princess just make sure it's roughly in the center that's got it so that's the front of our little buckler isn't that cute and my little ribbon will look just as cute on there like that so I've got this brolly I might just I might turn the brolly upside down actually and I might cut I might cut it in half oh, I don't know though not pretty I might have that on there and then just glue I'm gonna glue just the bottom section keep that label straight and what have I got here Elegance is when the inside is, is as beautiful as the outside. Perfect. I bear a charmed life. Mm. I want some bigger ones. Actually, I might just, I don't know why, but to cut one of these larger ones. Oh, look, I bear a charmed life. That would add as a little pocket and a tuck spot for there. See, there's that what I cut off for the belly band. Oh, no, actually, for the little booklets that's inside the belly band. There, look, so that's off the 8x8 papers. So I think I'll put my little book inside there. It does close up when it wants to. Oh, I don't know, that ribbon's sticking out a bit too much, isn't it? I think I might get that tuck in there. I don't want to over distress this. No, I'm going to think I'll keep that separate. Or I could tap, but then will really it close? That's what I'm all them. Oh, I will close that way so I can attach it in there so I might just I think I might cut that out I'm going to have to use my scissors and then tidy it up I don't know I didn't really want to cut into that big piece but Trim that off. That is two inches, but that's going to be. Oh, my shavings gainer. So let's do two and an eighth. Just hope I haven't cut too much. Oh no, that's not too bad. And let's do the same at the top. Let's try that now at two inches. And I think that's pretty wide enough to go there. So I'm just going to round the tops off. I'm going to stain it. I'm not even going to trim around that. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. Oh, flip it up, it's ten past nine.
and then I'm going to add that so it's got the tiniest gap either side and then our little notepad will tuck in the top and just keep that little page in there oh, I like that there we go so this is going to get glued down got a bit too much on there that little splodge there and try to keep it right along the edge of this pink line so it looks like the board is meant to be there so this little buckler I might stain up that ribbon or change it up but that'll tuck right behind there now I shouldn't have glued that side should I so let's just wipe that off should have just glued I've got your cups and everything now lasses what am I like so I'm going to finish here but you can do whatever you want to yours uh, I might come back and show I've got an order coming so I might show the finished product when I've finished and do my order so right I hope you've enjoyed anyway and I hope you give you a, a few ideas but basically I just I got my A4 paper tell you quickly how I did this I folded it in half and then I cut three and seven eighths three and seven eighths and it left me three and seven eighths and then I just stacked them on top of each other I didn't shove them inside I just I'll show you what I did quick so I've not got I've not creased that the best so watch I did this folded over my paper three and seven eighths and I did two sheets but it's a little bit thick so I just stack them on top of each other. Look, three and seven eighths, three and seven eighths, and three and seven eighths. If you're in the UK, if not, you'll have to work it out because American papers. And then I just got some designer series paper at the same width, folded it over by an inch, which I think that piano would look fantastic. And then I just cut it off one eighth of an inch short. I'm obviously an eighth of an inch wider either side and at the bottom. I'm just showing you as an example. I used my crocodile then to put two holes in. I added the little metal clips and then just tied a ribbon through it and made myself a little notepad. So, but don't, if you're going to do it this way, don't stack them inside each other because then your paper's going to be shorter. You know, when you go like this, you've got that. Otherwise, you're going to end up cutting all that off. So, just stack them. On top of each other. So, it's easier to stack. I haven't folded mine properly, but it's easier to stack you haven't got anything to cut off then because if you start like I'm saying putting it inside it's just going to shorten your paper and then you'd have to trim it all off if you stack them together they're all the same length and then you can add your surrounding paper then obviously it's got to be as wide as this so you this is three and seven eighths so cut this at four and one eighth and it will give you an eighth of an inch either side so cut this at one one and a half so one and a half and four and one eighth so five and one eighth about five and five eighths score it at one inch fold it over it'll be an eighth of an inch all round and then just pop your holes in using a crocodile i use my crocodile and i just eyeballed it and i used the largest hole see my paper still inside look there so I used the largest hole straightened everything up 
and then just popped a hole in there and there added my metal clips closed it together using this and that just tied a ribbon around it then but that don't if you don't like i'm saying don't don't add them to each other just stack them on top and then you've got that perfect straight line there and then this little booklet which is so cute you can add in this back page or you can add it anywhere in there don't do what i did and just glue the sides because i'm a numpty just keep one of the sides open even if needs be but then i tuck that in there it just stops it from falling out when it's up there and it closes when my little booklet's closed let me tie it up again it's just giving me some creases i'm just gonna literally tie this round but if you want to make these one sheet wonders and then some embellishments i know you can't see my little lady head but you can pull it down if you want i've just cut this a little bit uh, pulled this a little bit tight but there's the lady sticking out there's the little ribbon it makes for great photos it makes for little journaling little embellishments you can add inside little spare photos add lace add trim add labels you know i've got all these wonderful little things that i can add inside mine so this can be tucked away in there poking out the top i will finish decorating with all my little embellishments and then i will show it at some point i've got more lace i've got more little embellishments and cut parts i just have fun i just thought it just took my mind off card making for a while because you know when you get you make so many cards and then in the end you get a mental mind block well i got a mental bit of a mental mind block so and i haven't even used any of these little i mean look at that i mean beautiful so just find all the little bits you've got as treasures add them together you know i've got stacks of these so if anybody wants some give me a shout and you pay for postage and i'll send you uh, i think i had about 10 packets and there's about 10 in each packet or 12 in each packet so if you want some give me a shout and then i've got to clear my desk now because there's some brightness but there we go <laughs> till next time love you guys god bless take care bye